Creating art out of suffering is a haunting, if not a futile endeavor. Deep down, we must know we can't be saved by colors on a canvas or words on a page. We must know we are chasing a sun that will never set, yet we are unable to stop. We write and we sing and we draw, and every momentary reprieve from the gaping maw of despair, we attribute to our creativity. The truth is, art can't save the world. Art can only make the world look at itself. With that being said, let's talk about Mavi. Omavi Amu Mender is a young rapper from Charlotte, North Carolina, most notable for his lo-fi, abstract underground hit, Love of Money. His 2019 record, Let the Sun Talk, has become somewhat of a cult classic in the wave of abstract hip-hop led by my father's album, Some Rap Songs. And his 2022 sophomore album, Laughing So Hard It Hurts, has received somehow even more praise than his first. Now, it's easy to compare him to his seniors in the rap game, No Name, MF Doom, early Meek Mill, and most especially Earl Sweatshirt, my father. And I get why you would. I discovered Mavi through his phenomenal feature on El Toro Combo Meal, and when I originally heard his verse, I was elated because I thought it was Earl actually sounding energetic for once. That's how similar they sound. Of course, I later discovered that it was Mavi, and at first I thought he was a fraud for sounding so much like Earl, but then I gave him a chance. I played Love of Money and realized I'd heard it already on a kneecaps video, and then I listened to Self Love and I was hooked. It took literally just a dip into his discography and I realized just how different he is from Earl. Yeah, they do have similar voices, but the parallels are rather superficial. It's weird. At first, I could hardly tell them apart, but all it took was a few more minutes of listening before I couldn't even imagine mixing them up. Earl is dragging his feet along his path. Mavi is sprinting with his arms wide open. He's a track runner after all. Like me and other students of Earl, Mavi doesn't seem to be particularly fond of straight lines. His beats, and at times more notably his bars, meander and swerve from bank to bank like a stream in search of an ocean. Watching his interviews as a writer is somewhat terrifying because he seems to have this deep, warm pool of wisdom and empathy that I can't possibly fathom. In his music, however, the wisdom and the empathy are less concentrated, dissipating themselves over looping samples and poignant narratives. Mavi raps like he's strolling to a clearing in the woods and he's picking berries from bushes along the way. He, unlike far too many quote-unquote conscious rappers, doesn't pretend to be Jesus. He doesn't claim to be the bearer of all the answers to all the despair in the world. Any nugget he drops is strictly something he learned by himself on his own journey. Bars like, they plead I keep in touch, I'm scrambling to keep intact, or you plant love, love will grow, you plant fear, fear will grow, you planted me, then me would grow, but I was a branded Negro? Okay. Mm. These speak to the fact that he's not looking to save the world, but to be its mirror. More so than most of his contemporaries, and even those who came before him, Mavi is willing to be a person not an idea. Contrasting other rappers with this categorization like Corday, Logic, or God forbid Dax, Mavi has never placed himself as the sun in the darkness. He's more like the ashes remaining after a bonfire. And this isn't to say that there's anything wrong with spreading knowledge or making art for the sole purpose of helping others. Kendrick, for most of his career, did primarily that, as did Kota the Friend and Chance the Rapper, all of which are MCs held in deservedly high regards. It's just that, especially in today's culture, which rarely promotes stopping and listening, it's rather easy for an artist to slip into the trap of the savior complex. I know I have, and no one knows who the fuck I am. Somehow, despite legions of fans willing to take bullets for him and every major music media source suckling at his teeth, this is a trap Mavi has managed to evade. So when you hit these points of writer's, writer's block, how are you able to pinpoint which assumptions that you think you're making to deconstruct? I leave it all the way alone, because writing is not science. Science is, the, is humanity observing the laws that's established by God, period. Yes. Gravity is a law because gravity is a law. Like, gravity is self-evident. Yeah. When I try to be self-evident and writing, I'm doing it wrong. Anyone who mentions the goddamn fucking environment change, I'll kill them. Virginia Woolf, one of the most talented authors to ever walk this earth, has this line I love. The great revelation had never come. The great revelation perhaps never did come. Instead, 
there were little daily miracles, illuminations, matches struck unexpectedly in the dark. I think this line correctly encapsulates Marvi's approach to making music. The truth is, there is no great revelation, I don't think. We know there is a light at the end of the tunnel, but anyone who tells you they know exactly what is causing that light is probably a damn liar. This video's title is clickbait. Marvi the bastard doesn't do miracles. He's just good at finding the ones that are already there. Those candles, those illuminations, Marvi has a knack for finding the narrative in the chaos. His writing is restless and sporadic because that's how hope is. He traces it like an astronomer does constellations. I don't think Marvi has any idea where the trail leads. I don't even think he cares. I just know he keeps picking up more and more miracles along the way. And what better blueprints could there possibly be for an artist? How's it going guys? Thanks so much for the support. You should I have a video on Earl Sweatshirts and Mac Miller and, you should, and Kanye West. You should definitely go watch those. Those are really cool videos. Also I have a Patreon. Um, also I wrote like a couple books. All the links are down below. Check those out. Give me money. Give me some money, bro. Peace.